On a recent farm video, we found this old lamp when we were taking stuff to the local tip over there. It was it was in the top of the large skip that you're supposed to empty your rubbish into. And these days with transfer stations and everything, you're not supposed to take stuff back out. But it was right next to where I'd parked. No one was looking. It fell into the ute. Um, I've got to stop bringing home more projects. God knows I've got enough to do here. But it's cute. And I said, I reckon I can turn that back into an operational lamp and make some money. Hey guys, Chris and Ultimate Recycler, welcome back to the channel. I didn't want to just put this aside and let it get buried. Let's deal with it today. We need to pull the top remains of the top fitting out. It's been broken off and the cord's just been cut off. And it looks like it's a little bent. So we'll have to see if we can straighten that. I don't want to waste too much time on it, but it will be a cute lamp if we get it going. Okay, it's definitely a little bent on top, so let's see if we can pull that apart and straighten it up. Now, even though it looks like brass, it's quite often just a die-cast zinc, and it's just been either plated or even just painted. Uh, we're going to have the cord twist around inside, but let's take it apart. We've got to put a new cord in it anyway. Oh, there we go. The whole lot's coming out. That's okay. So you can see that's a dark grey. It's quite heavy. It's not cast aluminium. It's certainly a cast zinc. They weren't made with great quality in mind, but um, so that bit's not damaged. But they do the, you know, they do the job. They look the part. So I'm not sure what's bent. Anyway, we've got to try and get the remains of that fitting out. It looks like it's been glued in. Uh, probably not original. Quite often these things fall over, and because the shade is the biggest part, and the base is quite heavy. Whoops, it's coming apart in my hands then the weakest point is where the plastic light fitting screws in so people often re-glue them so i'll have to dig that out i will have another switchable light fitting for it so that's just a plastic tube the base is very heavy uh, you can see the plating's come off there so it's definitely a die cast zinc underneath uh, a lot of people throw these in the brass and you know they really shouldn't because it's not brass uh, it looks like a marble base, so it's fairly good quality. I don't know the age of it. I would, I would suspect it's probably 1970s. You know, it's older wiring, and we don't know what the top looked like because it's been smashed off. Uh, plastic tube. It wouldn't be any earlier than the 70s, but I don't think it's much more modern. So the base is fine. No issues with that. Uh, just needs a bit of a wash up. This part looks okay. We've just got to get that fitting out. I think really that's our main repair job is to get that fitting out, get a new light fitting in there. It has to, well, it doesn't have to be a switchable one. We could have a cord with a switch in it. I'll just have to have it rummage around and see what I've got. So first thing, we've got to try and get that out of the top. Oh, hang on. What's underneath there? That's like silicon. And is that a nut? It might just unscrew. It does unscrew. So that's a brass nut, and then we have a washer, and then another washer, and then we have the extension of our plastic rod going up through the top. So that's fine. So the cord just should, there we go, cord just pulls out. I've even got a bit of scrap. So that's nothing really left in there to get out. All right, I'll go and have a rummage around for a light fitting. I'll be back with you shortly. So I first found a white fitting with a switch, but I don't know if white will look any good with this because it's predominantly black and darker colours. So I found a black one. It doesn't have a switch. It's just a basic fitting. But I'm sure I've got plenty of cords with switches in line, so that will work fine. It's a threaded end, which most of them are, and it will thread onto that plastic tube. I've just moved you back a bit there. I've made a bit of a discovery. The way it was assembled was with that part in there and then the tube through the top and that's how we got it now this part looked bent but it's not and i think it just wasn't fitting properly on here and i don't think it goes that way so my theory is that this bit goes down here where it actually locates much more securely and then this bit fits over there and then the tube goes down so it's the same height but it's a different order so I suspect that someone's had it apart and just reassembled it wrong. What do you think? Does that look okay? 
that's the way I'm going to assemble it anyway because I think it works better. So we're going to be right to assemble it that way. As I said, there's nothing bent. It will do up tightly, even though I suspect the end of the black tube was broken off with the fitting. I've, um, I think we can adjust where it screws in at the end and still get enough. And we might leave out that brass nut because we really don't need it if this fitting screws on. So we'll put this back together now uh, because we can feed the wire through it when it's together. So if we feed that through and it screws into the base, it's threaded in the base, so we'll screw that right in until it's firm. And then once that goes tight, this part starts to screw down to tighten the whole thing up. We'll just make sure the bottom one's firm first. We need to screw that one up a bit. So we'll screw that tube down until it's tight in the bottom. That feels tight. Now we can screw this one down to lock everything in place. That's nice and tight and that doesn't look bent at all now. I think we're good to go there. Uh, next we had the large washer and a smaller washer and there's still enough thread to screw this fitting in. We could actually, I might try and find a slightly thinner washer just to give us a little bit more thread or maybe one. If we find one washer with a larger outer diameter and a smaller inner diameter that will gain us a couple of threads and then the fitting will screw on much more securely. I couldn't find one washer but um, I'll use the smaller one and the other one I found is much thinner so we're going to gain a bit of space there. So we can put these over the top of the thread. Should give us plenty to screw the fitting on to and we'll take the bottom part off the light fitting and we can screw that on and that should firm it all up nice and tight as tight as that plastic tube allows us to do anyway without stripping it that's good so now we've got to find a cord wire in our light socket and uh, we'll have to find a shade for it but we're nearly done We'll give you a higher view, it should be easier to see what's going on. I found a cord, whenever I scrap out lamps or I get one that's broken in the e-waste, if the switch is good and the cord's in good condition, I do save them because this is exactly why. Alright, we should be able to feed those wires up through from underneath, I hope so, because we can't feed them the other way. Now... If we can't, I guess we could remove the base, but I'd like to be able to get it straight up through here. I can't even see the hole, that's tricky. Uh -huh, I think we've started. A bit hard to get my fingers in there. The cord's got a bit of a kink in it, which doesn't help. But it has started going up the tube. And now it's stopped. How about some needle nose pliers to help it on its way? That's working. There we go. Keep going. Hopefully it comes out the top okay. There's sometimes a bit of a step where the fittings screw on and it can cause some grief. We could have fed some fine tie wire down the top and then dragged the wire up that way. But we'll see how we go. Yeah, we do have a bit of a blockage. I wonder if we can see it. Now, I think we might have to feed some tie wire down there. How far did we get? Oh, we must have been nearly there. Oh, uh, not quite. Yeah, probably one of those. Um, now, once we're in the plastic tube, it should have made it right to the top. We'll get some tie wire. Okay, we'll feed some fine tie wire 
down the tube. Let's get a clean end on that for a start. Now, the plastic tube goes the full length and there's no step into the bottom of the light fitting. So I think our trouble has been, there we go, there's the wire. Our trouble has been that the cord has a, a kink wherever it went through a lamp previously and it's just making it a bit tight in the tube to keep pushing. So hopefully the wire will work and enable us to pull it up. So I'll have to try some sort of fancy pants knot here that doesn't catch and doesn't slip off too easily. Okay, that should work. Let's get it feeding up through the hole. Once we get it started, we should be okay. Maybe we can start it with the pliers first. Okay, we've got our cord feeding up at last. You know, I reckon it would have been easier to take the base off, but anyway. Hopefully the kink doesn't stop it going up. Yeah, it's got tight, that's for sure. I think we'll need the pliers as well as the wire. And I think we're nearly there. It's gone in a fair way. Oh yeah, there we go. The wire's just poked out the end. So we have success. Yeah, it's quite firm to pull through. It must have been the kink. Anyway, we can unravel this now. And wire up our light fitting. Okay, we have enough length out the bottom for the switch. That's good. So we'll pull a bit more through to make it a bit easier to work on. Untwitch these wires. And we can fit our new our new slash second hand light fitting. Now you need to, it doesn't matter which way they go for a light, they can go either way for uh, AC lighting. So we'll put them in the sockets. Now these ones actually have little brass um, aglets, is that what you call them? I think that's what you call a little hard bit on the end of your shoelace, so maybe it's the same. So they're right to put straight in the terminals here and do the screws up onto. Normally I would strip the wire and fold it over. But these, because these have come straight out of a lamp and the ends are still very good, they will be fine. So I'll poke them in there and do them up. Nice and firm, but not too tight. If you do these too tight, you'll actually guillotine the ends of the wire and it'll break off. Right, now that we've got those there, we need to bend the wires around the hook on each side. That's actually a strain relief, so if it gets a really hard tug from the cord, it won't pull out of the terminals. Although, given that this cord's fairly firm through that plastic tubing, I don't think it's likely to pull out anyway. And we'll fold the other one down There we go, both hooked in there very solidly. That can't possibly come out. Now, we need to screw it into the part we've just fitted, and because when we're screwing it, we're actually gonna twist the wire. So we'll have to make sure we keep twisting it at the base as well, because if, if you don't, the wire's gonna twist itself up and not up, and it could even break an internal wire. So, as I do this up, I'm going to keep twisting the cord so that it doesn't sort of form a knot inside. A little bit hard to twist because it's going through that tube and it's a bit firm, but I feel that it is flicking around okay. And I'll keep doing this until it's tight. Well, it's nearly tight now, actually. Yep, that's good. Very good. There we go. Our lamp's wired. Switch is a good distance from the base. We need to find a globe to make sure it works and put it on our appliance tester just to make sure everything's safe. It doesn't run on earth. It's got that plastic tube through the middle of it, so it's double insulated. We just need to find a suitable shade for it at the shop and a little bit of a clean up and then we can sell it. Okay, let's put this LED globe in. Plug it into our appliance tester. There we go, and the switch works beautifully. 
nice and bright fantastic i'll just give it a clean up and i'll find a shade for it and there we go guys the lamp is back to life it looks pretty good it's only a fairly bland shade that i found in the shop but it fits it nicely proportionally wise probably not oh the color doesn't go too bad i guess uh, the base is really the feature it's you know the marble base the brass look decorations and i think those decorations work quite well that way so i'm guessing that's the way they're meant to go because it certainly fits better than the way it was uh, the cord's great the switch works well safety tested at least a 50 dollars lamp there not bad for out of the big skip at the rubbish tip so there we go guys thanks for watching it's um it's a project i shouldn't have picked up but i couldn't help myself an easy fifty dollars didn't take long to do works great looks good in the shop kept it out of landfill in fact it was kind of almost in landfill and then got rescued at the last minute and the cord and the fittings are just ones that I save from lamps that aren't worth fixing. So absolutely no cost. Um, the shades turn up every now and again in the e-waste and they're quite, you know, I save the good ones. Pretty good little project. Um, money in my pocket, saved from the tip. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you in the next video. Bye for now.